Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your open schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Uh, it's getting chilly down here. It's only uh, like 49 degrees right now. Um, in the middle of the afternoon. It's going to drop down into the low 40s or upper 30s tonight. So, I had to go get my uh, sodas and stuff. While I was there, I did a little bit of other shopping. So, uh, they had, this is a jalapeno pimento cheese. It's on, it was on sale. I wasn't looking for this. I really wasn't. But it'll, it'll last in the refrigerator. So, it's all good. Uh, this was actually on sale for $2.50. So, it's a dollar off. What I wanted was cottage cheese. Uh, and I got it. I'll mix this with some chopped up olives and whatnot. Uh, chopped olives and chopped up jalapenos. And serve it, I'll eat it on crackers. That's something that, it's a childhood thing. My grandma used to make up uh, cottage cheese and olives. And used to love it. And of course, my I, I added the jalapenos to it because I like jalapenos. <laughs> uh, the local had, <clears throat> excuse me, tuna packets on sale. Ten for ten. So, and these are the larger ones. I like I like carrying these in the truck all the time. I have them at the house because it's a quick, easy meal. Um, this one's original deli style. It's with mayonnaise. Uh, you throw it on a couple pieces of bread or crackers or just dig into the pouch. So I got a couple of those of the original deli style. I got three or four of the sriracha, sriracha blend. I just put, I'd pick up the whole box and use use the box that they display it in. And it works it works in my It works on my on my shelf for me. Uh, Bacon Ranch. I got one of those, I think. Sriracha. Sriracha. Original Deli. Original Deli. Thought I got something else. Sriracha. I guess not. Huh. I thought I grabbed the Thai. The Thai chili. Oh well. Doesn't matter. None of them are really actually all that spicy. I mean, it says it's sriracha, but yeah, maybe two two drops in that package. <laughs> There's not much, so but it gives it enough of a little taste. And if I wanted to, of course, you all know I carry hot sauce, so it is what it is. So there's that. Oh, come on. Come on, fight with me. Because I'm on camera, right? Oh, where's the other one? I took a bunch of... Took up, not a bunch, but a couple of my bags over to my daughter. For her to choose one. <laughs> Somehow she wrecked her, her computer bag that she takes her computer and all of her files to work with. She needed another one, so I took a couple. I have a couple of that style that I don't use, so I got a couple of them back here. Anyway, uh, for the next couple days, it's going to be kind of chilly, so something quick and easy to eat. Uh, this is the chunky uh, Campbell's chunky chili mac, beans, macaroni, pasta, etc. I'm not I'm not sponsored by Campbell's. Um, Although, my grandfather, my mom's dad, uh, way, way back in the, almost in the steam, steam era, um, Campbell's was building a new factory in Camden, New Jersey, and Grandpa put in a bid for the plumbing and won, and for the longest time, uh, 
he they were his main his his big contract. So uh, he was a plumber. I, I've I've mentioned that a few times. Um, Campbell's chunky the soup that eats like a meal, steak and potato. I'm basically going with the ones that I know I like. Again, these were on sale. These were four for five. So Philly style cheesesteak. This is. I, it's it's tasty. It doesn't taste like a cheesesteak. <laughs> it's got it's got a cheesy sauce, and it's got a, it's got you know the the steak and peppers and onions. So it's got all of the the goodies to go with. And, and yeah, so but it's tasty. So I enjoy it. And then I got the savory pot roast. Now that's it. My main thing is tonight. I'm not sure what I'm going to get. What I'm going to eat. Um, I was thinking on this one, on the Philly style cheesesteak, but then I saw this one, the Chili Mac, and I've been kind of hankering on Chili Mac, um, so I don't know. This is kind of a, this is a grown up version of Chef Boyardee's, uh, beefaroni. You know, uh, Chef Boyardee beefaroni. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, as a kid, you know, and it, I guess it's an acquired taste. <laughs> I used to like it, love it when I was a kid. Eat it all the time, but not anymore. I, I, I don't like the taste. So this one, it's it's reminiscent of that. It's also reminiscent of. Uh, 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 American goulash or uh, American chop suey, uh, which are both also the same thing. It's basically uh, chili with macaroni in it. So, um, anyway, yeah, there we go. Short haul and uh, stop babbling, Doc. Let's get on with whatever. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever you all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that'd be Fandoculus. If you'd like to check me out on Facebook or Instagram, I'll get some links in the description box when I get back on my computer. Uh, I'll also put some links down there to similar videos and I'll put my email and my snail mail. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So, um, boom, 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 boom. <sighs> Cancer is an insidious disease, people. There's all different types. They have all different kinds of symptoms. Breast cancer is one of the more prevalent ones, or the ones most talked about. And while it's more prevalent in women, it does affect men. Um, uh, something like one in a thousand men will, uh, get breast cancer. Um, there's different symptoms. It could feel like a grain of, grain of sand in, in, in the tissue. Um, it doesn't just affect the chest or breast tissue. It can start into your lymph nodes. It could feel like a, like, like an itchy, itchy spot. It could feel a piece of, like your skin is super thick. Um, a swelling could be a pain in the ear. Uh, anyway, like, like I said, there's all different kinds of symptoms. Basically, if something doesn't feel right and it lasts for a while, talk to a doctor. <laughs> uh, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, folks. We ain't promised our next breath. If you're strange, forgive, forget, apologize. It may be you perusing the handbook for the recently deceased. I hope not. I hope to see you all again. Until I do, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slotchy, y'all. Bye-bye.